tax loss harvesting is a basic concept to sell investments, stocks, bonds, anything that you own that have actually gone down in value. The benefit to this is you can protect those losses and use them for future gains, or you can write up to $3,000 off against ordinary income for the year. In my opinion, many people make a mistake by waiting to year end to harvest their tax losses because A, uh, normally everybody's gonna be identifying the same investments or stocks that have gone down and so you may in fact be selling at a lower price than you need to. Uh, and the other issue is a lot of times in December, volumes could actually dry up. So I think you should take them all throughout the year. Be proactive and harvesting those tax losses. Two basic strategies in harvesting tax losses, say you have a company you love, but it's down and you wanna take the tax loss. You can double up on that position, wait 31 days, sell the position, take the tax loss. Another strategy is you sell it, you have to wait 30 days or you're subject to the wash rules. And the wash rule says anything that is substantially identical or the same, so basically the same type or security will cause that tax loss to be invalidated. Be careful, if you have a company that moves and is volatile, you could end up buying it back at a higher price, and so that tax loss doesn't give you the financial gain you'd hope for. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.